As always, thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. You already know the spiel. We love Book of the Month here. Book of the Month is a book subscription service where the team curates five new books every single month and you get to go online and choose which one you would like to receive straight to your door. If you like more than one, you can add it. Or if you don't vibe with any of the books that month, then you can skip a month at no extra charge. But they really do have such a variety of books month to month, all different genres, new releases, debut authors, first ever books releases, which is very exciting to see. And sometimes they even have early releases, which is also very very special. So if you'd like to sign up for Book of the Month, you can get your first hardcover book for just $9.99 if you use the link in the description and my code. Book of the Month has sent me their September books to share with you guys, so here's a little tiny synopsis of each of them. So first we have Rock, Paper, Scissors, which is a thriller when a remote anniversary getaway turns eerie. A couple learns if their marriage can bear the weight of their secrets, which also this cover doesn't remind you of Breaking Dawn Part 2 opening credits. Mm beautiful would buy it just for that the neighbor's secret is a contemporary fiction early release which is about a suburban book club who discovers life can be more disturbing than fiction the sweetest remedy by jay nagaro this is a contemporary fiction an unexpected loss leads to a young woman on a soul-searching journey to reconnect with Nigerian family and find herself. The Love Hypothesis is a debut romance novel by Allie Hazelwood. After a fake relationship generates real sparks, a rising scientist must decide if she's ready to experiment with love. And lastly, we have a debut memoir called Beautiful Country, which is a moving memoir filtered through a child's eyes about a Chinese family struggling in the shadows of the American dream. And so those are Book of the Month September books. Thank you as always to Book of the Month for working with me. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye. See you next month, Book of the Month. Hello. And so continues the saga of me not knowing if I'm filming well. Is this good? Can you see me? I need a flip out screen camera. I don't know why I bought one without a flip out screen. It is my biggest regret to current date. It's not my biggest regret in life, but whatever hi this video is my back to school prep which i wasn't originally gonna do any kind of prep for school i was just gonna show up on monday because i don't really feel the hype that like everybody does like i'm not moving into a new place or a dorm or you know i wasn't living at home all summer because like i live in new york alone so i don't like i don't go to school in new york i live in new york and i go to school so like there's no like wow it's back to school time because like usually people buy things buy books i have no books to buy because my major is photography and plus we don't know until we actually go to school if we do need anything notebooks and pens and pencils i already have that you know because i that's just the kind of person i am i love notebooks i have a lot of blank notebooks that i don't use so just go into my own stores for that um what else do people do? people buy new clothes I hate buying clothes, but I did buy some new pieces to so be very proud of me because I hate buying clothes. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just do. Maybe there's somewhere in there, me being an Aquarius has an explanation for that. But, and what else? What else do people do for back to school? Why are they so excited? Uh, they're, they're excited to see their friends. I have no friends. So that helps with nothing. So mentally, I've always struggled with a lot of anxiety, especially with going back to school. Like literally whole body anxiety, like not good, not good at all. And so I was like, I'm just gonna pretend like it's not happening, it, it's fine. Uh, but then I realized I do in fact have to confront the fact that I'm going back to school because it's going to be a very busy year because I have so many glasses, please save me. I have to prepare myself for it. And also, I'm not really excited to go back to school because I hate my school. There are just so many things about it. Like, I've been there for four years. I know how these things go. I, I've been, I've seen things, you know, but I'm very grateful and very privileged to be going to the school that I go to and in the city that I love. But there are also other external things that I can't won't that it's not for you to know not it's privacy private thoughts private situate circumstances um so there's a lot more context that just makes me go oh, i don't want to go to school i don't want to go there please mom please don't make me go but we are going back to campus for the first time i haven't been back to the campus since march 11th 2020 
anyways so i'm gonna do some prep i just i need to do something okay because i also like to be very prepared that's just how i am and then also just kind of general upkeep i've been ignoring because i've been putting together my apartment for the past month so i need to dye my hair maybe cut it maybe trim it a little bit just because like look at these ends these look crusty rusty like a little embarrassing uh also my nails suffered so bad during the move like if you saw my video of me setting up my office workspace studio space um you would have glimpsed my nails in that and oh my god a disgrace if you know me you know that i i always have my nails in pristine condition but since i've moved here they've just been not good so i need to redo my nails because they're chipping as well um it's the weekly ritual and this list i have wash up and organize for convenience but i already kind of did that i do need to sweep and swiffer the floors but i washed up and organized everything yesterday so got too excited i guess i also need to pack my bag i don't really have a school bag but i have like a parsons bag so i need to clean that out it i haven't looked at it in two years so i it's it's really gross and dirty it's i've been using it since freshman year so four years of three years of that <laughs> I need to clean my computer and organize it. Uh, by that, I mean like internally, like clean the documents, clean my desktop and organize and hard drives and things, which will take a long time. And maybe I'll procrastinate doing that and not do it. That's what I'm feeling like today. And then I also want to put some new stickers on my bag. So what on my bag and then i want to put some new stickers on my computer that i got one that i really love anyways wish me luck for the semester i just need to get through it but it's gonna be a good fall so let's hope for the best i hope you have a good semester if you're still in school okay let's get to it <laughs>
this is <laughs> my vaccine card. Um, I don't have one of the photo card sleeves, it's not necessarily for photo cards, but big enough for the this thingy, but I've seen people on TikTok who have it, but I don't have one, so I just use the sleeves that I have that open from the side, and I tape them together, and these were already decorated with stickers from trades, or I think this one is from my friend Jenna, but this one is from a trade or a buy. So I'm just gonna leave the stickers on because they're too pretty to remove them. So I'll just instead be mildly embarrassed when I have to show somebody this. So anyways, good stuff. Thank mm -hmm. you. 